Uh, thank you, Thomas, from Aviation Blue for the opportunity to present our PERCOS, which is uh, a long history. Uh, since 1945, the company is focusing on uh, manufacturing uh, equipment for clubs and uh, especially for training purposes. So what is well known all around the world uh, is the Puchac, that is the predecessor of this uh, plane, which I want to present to you now. Uh, Puchac, there are 333 flying all over the world and they are especially uh, used for the training uh, and schooling operations. Uh, now we, after about 12 years of development, we came up with a significantly more powerful uh, plane for schooling, which is universal. That means we started in 2010 with the development of the uh, uh, aerobatic configuration with a span of 17 uh, meter 20. And then after four years, we have uh, managed to get the certification also for the 20 meter span, uh, which is the version for the cross country flying. Uh, and uh, for the moment, we are working on serial number 50. And the next step of evolution is now that we will introduce and implement into this uh, training plane uh, an electrical self-launching device, which is uh, also here displayed, but which will need quite a while, I think about two years, until we have got the certification for this version. And it has especially designed for the use in US flight schools to make the training as cost effective as possible by having uh, a self-launching plane first. That means the flight school saves the towing plane, saves the towing pilot, is completely in, uh, independent from all sorts of infrastructure which is usually used for training purposes and they can concentrate simply on doing their job, uh, let's say generate new young pilots for the future aviation. So, Let's come to the cockpit of the PERCOS, which is very variable uh, and will, is designed uh, according to the wishes and demands of our customers. So it starts with uh, the minimum equipment, which is legally necessary. And that comes today uh, up to 12,000 euro or $12,000 more or less and it can go up beyond 20,000 euro for those who have, real, let's say, uh, special needs and uh, need a, a high, uh, high tech, let's say high tech equipment. Uh, so the cockpit is spacey and the site is brilliant from the backside where normally the in instructor uh, takes place he has a very good visibility alongside of this part of the uh, of the rear uh, instrumentation, uh, and he can see what the flight student is doing in the front seat very well. So that is one of the biggest advantage, the full side, because it is a one-piece cockpit, and uh, I think. The 50 uh, units which are already in operation have proven that uh, the cockpit design is uh, very brilliant. We have 
Additionally, here installed a hand rudder steering device. That means handicapped people have the possibility uh, to take a seat in the front seat and have the possibility to steer the rudder with a hand rudder device. Uh, so that means um, it might be from time to time a very positive point if a club goes for subsidies because inclusion is all over Europe a very important aspect. So we uh, make it possible that people who are handicapped with their legs uh, are in a situation where they can really fly on their own. So I think this is an achievement uh, in this sense of inclusion, make, making people, let's say, uh, doing a sport which they like, where they are actually handicapped, what we provided, the means to get this person airborne on its own. Okay, welcome to the uh, booth of uh, All-Star PZL Glider here at Aero Expo 2025. Um, what you can see here is an uh, engineering mock-up for our new propulsion system concept for the SAT 45 Percos. Uh, this is our second generation electric drive system after we have developed the electric sustainer system for the SAT 55 Nexus in the past years. And here we are aiming to provide a full self-launching solution for the Percos. Um, the concept is a bit unique in the sense that it's a non-retractable system. It's a fixed pylon, yet very aerodynamically shaped so that the performance margin is, uh, is only small. But we believe that a fixed system has a lot of benefits for the special missions that the Percos is usually used, which is primarily uh, early training and uh, cross-country training. Um, the system is thus very simple. You don't have any retraction mechanism no uh, articulated covers, no large cutout in the fuselage, but a very compact and simple system. It is of high performance. It's a 400 volt fully liquid cooled system with the batteries in the wings. Uh, and it can provide approximately 3,500, maybe 4,000 meters of climb or around 10 useful takeoffs to pattern altitude for training purposes. Um, the batteries in the wing are supposed to be removable, as is the drive pylon, with just a small number of screws and quick disconnect uh, connections. And with these elements removed, the Percos then retains also its full aerobatic capability.